In today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate black anamorphic bars inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and change them from black to any color that you like. So let's get into it. Once we've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to go ahead and create two brand new black videos. So in the new item button, we want to select black video. We want to drag that on top of the footage. So we'll drag that onto video layer two and extend that out so that is the same duration of the footage. And then we want to copy and paste that black video layer so we have two black videos. Now select both of those black videos, go into effects, and we want to search for crop. Drop crop on top of both of those black videos. Now selecting the top black video layer, we want to go into the effect controls, and we want to change the crop on the top to any value between 50 and 100%. But to begin with, I'm gonna start on 85%, and then we'll take the same number on video layer two and we'll take this to the bottom. So the bottom crop should be 85%. And there you go, that is how you generate really basic black anamorphic bars. But if you wanted to change the scale of this, then all you would need to do is go back into crop and change the number on the top and the bottom to the same number. So we can do 60%, we can do 90%, but we'll just leave it on 80% for now. But what if you don't wanna use black anamorphic bars? What if you want to be more playful and colorful within your edit and change these black bars into a different color? Well, all you would need to do is go into effects, search for tint, and we'll drop tint onto both black video layers. Now in tint, we want to go to matte black two, and we'll change that to any color that you like. Make sure you do that on both video layers. And there you go, that is how you generate and change the color of your black anamorphic bars inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.